Hello, I am Clement Pang, Chief Architect and Co-Founder of Wavefront, and I'm here to talk about the future of app monitoring. We're super excited to announce a new offering by Wavefront that encompasses the Enhanced Application Observability Framework. And so I want to break down a little bit as to why we think this is uh, an exciting chapter for us at Wavefront. Um, if you have seen any, any of our previous videos, you probably saw how we are able to monitor cloud infrastructure, your physical hardware, your private cloud, applications, packaged applications, serverless, you know, all sorts of uh, exciting stuff. But what we have realized, um, as um, uh, perhaps with the industry itself as well, is that the future of app monitoring is um, becoming more and more complex. Um, we probably know about, you probably know about microservices. You probably know about uh, the proliferation um, of uh, things such as serverless, as, uh, as containers and whatnot. And traditional app monitoring has been um, much more focused on monolithic applications and not so much with uh, where the world is heading. And so with that thought in mind, and, and internally, I guess, uh, uh, with Wavefront ourselves, um, we are also heavy users of microservices, and we probably kind of just uh, wrestled with ourselves thinking, how can we actually get better at monitoring our own services? And in turn, we decided to, to offer this as an offering for the rest of the, uh, of the industry and to our customers. So I want to go with a very simple example here where it's a microservice framework. Um, it doesn't matter where you're running it. It could be bare metal. It could be on Docker. It could be on Kubernetes. And, um, and more and more so often, we're seeing people run applications such as Python, uh, Java, and Go. And they're interoperating heterogeneously. The, the way that it, it typically works is that you, you still have a front end, um, although that's not necessarily the case. You could off, obviously have this operating off of a queue. But you still have a front end that's actually taking requests, HTTP requests, from your users. And it could be hitting Python. And it could be using a framework like Django. And then you are having that service, you know, maybe do some uh, general processing, you know, validations and whatnot. And you may be calling another service. In this case, let's say it's Go. And you know, with, uh, with different systems, you could pick different uh, transport systems. But let's say it's making an HTTP call internal um, to another Go service. And that Go service is also internally calling another um, a microservice that's written in Java. And let's say for this example, it's using gRPC. Right? All of that is possible because uh, HTTP, obviously, uh, the very common uh, transport um, uh, payload would be in JSON. In gRPC, you're probably using protocol buffers, although internal to, to us at Wavefront, we also have an ability to transport Avro over gRPC frame, uh, uh, transports. And uh, so this is, this is a, a very simple flow. But as you can see, it already traversed multiple languages, multiple runtimes, and uh, multiple transport layers. And let's say in this particular case, the Java application ultimately hits an external API. right? And um, it, could be, it could be, in this case, an API call. It could be maybe a, an AWS service such as S3. Or it could be another SaaS service. Um, we, are, we internally use things like PagerDuty. We use things like Algolia. And uh, that, that is an external call that, uh, in, in traditional sense, you know, it would be very difficult to actually trace what's going on. So imagine you're wanting to monitor this application. And you're wondering how I could actually get to understand what's going on. When a single user request hits on the front end, it's going through all these uh, complex applications. And here is where Wavefront's enhanced application observability comes in. And what I mean by enhanced application observability is the marriage of our capabilities in metrics, our capabilities in high definition histogram, as well as a brand new offering in distributed tracing. And uh, you probably understood uh, from our previous videos that Wavefront is a really powerful metrics and histogram framework. So you could take in uh, metrics and histograms at very high velocity with an ability to crunch through that data and present you with insights um, uh, in, in blink of an eye. So we're taking that um, offering and we're um, um, and enabling users to send distributed traces on top of the existing powerful scalable uh, pipeline that we have built at Wavefront. So what that means is you can send metrics, histograms, and traces from all different parts of your stack, all different kinds of transports, including external calls, including inbound requests to Wavefront. And not only did we just offer you an SDK, which are, we are currently calling our, um, our tier two or the core SDKs, we're also helping users 
immediately deploy SDKs that we've written that automatically collect the metrics and the histograms, as well as the traces from commonly known frameworks. So I'm just going to use an example here in Java where you could be using Drop Wizard. You could be using Jersey. You could be using Spring Boot. Or it's just generic JAX-RS. So these are very common microservice uh, components that you'd be using to build your application. And what we offer is an SDK that you put into your own code. So we're not doing any kind of bytecode instrumentation. And I'll probably get to a little bit as to why we didn't decide to do that. And put in the SDK, put in about 10 lines of code. And without doing any additional work, just recompiling your application and deploying that, you immediately get metrics that are related to request uh, rates, uh, error rates, latencies, and whatnot, as well as very detailed response requests, payload sizes, latency times, and the ability to see traces. So obviously, uh, internally, we're doing trace propagations. So uh, we comply to W3C specs as well as do internal uh, propagation of these spans. So when you're in Java, when you're in Go, when you're in Python, when you have a trace context that's available, we will automatically propagate it to um, other um, uh, internal components as well as uh, to any requests that that particular service would send. So all of that means you can go to Wavefront today, and the immediate effect is you can see an inventory of all the services that you have in the system. And you could actually see all the KPIs that we have built for you for each service. So we've surfaced basically the, 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 the core um, KPIs that describe the health of a microservice, which includes you know, request rates, error rates, uh, the latencies, the payload sizes, um, as well as runtime information, including, for example, in Java, garbage collection rates, uh, file handles, and all that kind of stuff. And then finally, allowing you to drill through to traces. So we will actually show you, if you click on, for example, I just wanted to look at my errors. I just want to look at my requests that are longer than two seconds. I just want to look at my requests that are between two microservices. You know, go to that view, and you could basically get your traces. And what that means is we have a very easy way for you to just put uh, our SDKs, recompile it uh, with 10 lines of code, and you are able to monitor your application and not just monitor, you could actually figure out root causes for your errors. You could figure out where to spend time to optimize your application, as well as figure out kind of the root cause of, of why things are, or perhaps there's a, a, a release, or perhaps there's a JVM issue, or perhaps there's an infrastructure issue, because uh, you don't want to forget that Wavefront obviously is monitoring your infrastructure. So it could tell you maybe there's a problem within the Kubernetes layer, maybe there's a problem in the, in the Cloud Fabric itself, and all of that is available with the full power of the Wavefront language, whether it's correlation, root cause analysis, anomaly detection, all of that is, is available at your fingertips. Um, so I talked a little bit about how this really contrasts with uh, traditional APM uh, solutions. And the biggest point that I want to make is that this brings APM to the hands of the developers. If you're looking at instrumenting your code, you could actually add your own spans that we will take care of shipping to Wavefront, propagating uh, the context, uh, to the trace context. And what that means is, as a developer, you could say, there is a critical path in my code, and I really want my observability framework to be able to pick that up. And I have specific annotations that I want to attach it to, whether it's a customer, maybe it's order number, it's a, a transaction amount, whatever you want, you could actually add it to the system. That is not something that traditional APM solutions provide. You're basically left with what the system or what, the, what that platform decides is important um, for it to be persisted into the back end. And what we have is a platform where you could decide what metrics you want to collect, what histograms you want to collect, and what transaction or request spans you want to collect. And I think this is a, a very exciting um, uh, 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 capability in Wavefront, and I look forward to talk about it more in the future. Thank you.